an hat hun squalo in quins quach no me up teat seats. Sisemia quitensna tna chantla homolchusen o homelch an wanaxton squalo. I'm so happy to be here with each and every one of you today. My ancestral name is Sisemia, and I come from the village of Chumolchison, or Capilano, and I have a good feeling in my heart to be here today. Chen Quinman told me I'm grateful. In our culture, from the Skokomish uh, people, the cedar tree is like the mother tree for us. And every time we walk through the forest, we remember the gifts that come from this tree because there's so many. Last weekend, I went to the mountains and I brought my children to the mountains to gather cedar bark. And I asked my children to put their hands on the tree so they can feel the energy and the flow from the tree and the life force. And then sometimes we'll just rest our head against the tree because before we do anything, before we take anything, we always say a prayer and we ask permission. And I want my children to know how connected we can be to the forest, to the plants, to the animals, how we create roots that make us who we are as Squamish people, but also just as human beings. How do we respect one another? How do we take one another? And part of that means when we come into these wild places that we come in um, in a humble way, in a way of um, respect. Uh, the name of the uh, cedar tree in our language is Chupait. And then the word for the cedar bark is slow white. And the roots are Tukwamyuk. There's lots of different words in our language related to this tree because it was so important. And we could use the wood to make canoes. We could use the bark to make clothing. We could dig up the roots to make waterproof basketry and baby baskets. We could use the cedar boughs to brush ourselves off and to cleanse ourselves. All good things come from this tree right here, and we're blessed to have this type of relationship. Sometimes it's like the intangible. How do you describe a feeling of protection? How do you describe a feeling of connectedness? Um, good job. That's a part of what we can get from this tree here. Oh. Beautiful. One year I went out and I was digging for cedar roots. And when you dig for cedar roots, you look for a cedar tree that, that grows in a forest near a fallen cedar tree that's kind of rotting. And in those types of trees, the roots will grow straight through that rotting tree and they'll grow straight and long. And as I was digging for these roots, I was thinking to myself, oh, my grandmothers, they were such good weavers. And, you know, I really admired that. And I thought, oh, I'm, I'm not gonna be as good as they were, you know? And, and then I, I heard something and I could hear this word and I, I heard hutch hutch. And I was like, I heard that and I know it wasn't me and there's nobody else around me. And it, I knew it was the tree. The tree said something to me. And I had other friends who were in the forest with me, one of whom spoke the language. And I ran up to her and I said, I heard the tree that said something, but I don't know what it means. Can you help me? And she said, sure. What did the tree say? And I said, the tree said, hutch, hutch. And she just looked at me. And she's like, wow. She said, do you know what the tree said? And I said, no, I don't. She said, the tree said, remember me. And I, I just wanted to cry. I was like, oh my goodness, it's so like powerful and so beautiful because it wasn't complicated. It wasn't a hard teaching. It was just the truth. Remember me and I'm here. 
I don't feel the same when I go to a shopping mall to gather clothes or shoes. It just doesn't like, the shoes don't really talk to me like the trees can talk to me. It's just so different. It's a different kind of world and it's a different kind of beauty that we can reconnect with the land and with the places that we belong. And I, sometimes I think it's easy to get lost in this modern world and to forget that there is a lot of beauty in the land. The tree has brought me so many beautiful gifts that I couldn't even imagine. I, I, I couldn't even think of it myself. And I think that's part of the beauty of having that relationship and sharing what I learn with other people. Because it, it doesn't just belong to me, it belongs to humans. And that's the truth.